Go. All right. Hmm? All right. Number 24. Number 24 is, um, let's see here. Find cotangent. So again, I like to start with the triangle. Okay? So I build myself a triangle. I have a right angle. I know this is the hypotenuse. Okay? Um, and then I throw theta on there. This time I'm going to throw theta down here since you've already seen theta from that direction. You know, I want you to be able to see theta from every direction. Okay? So that means that the opposite side would be this. Okay? And the adjacent side would be this. So that's what's touching theta, right? All right. Now I need to know what cosine is. What is cosine? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Yes. Uh, so adjacent over hypotenuse. That means that the adjacent is square root of 3. And the hypotenuse is 2. And so I know from my 30, 60, 90 triangle that this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, this is a special triangle. And I know that because I've done this so much that I know that this is x square root 3, this is x, and this is 2x. And I realize that this is 2 and this is 1 square root 3, right? So that means if this is 1 square root 3, this would be 1. And what's 1 times 2? 2, right? So now I could have found this from a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If I didn't already recognize that it was a special triangle, okay, a 30, 60, 90 triangle, okay, then I'm going to have to plug them in. And I'm going to have to go, okay, square root of 3 plus b e squared equals c or uh, 2 squared. Okay, and this is squared. So three, square root of 3 squared is 3, plus b squared equals 4, subtract 3, subtract 3, so b squared equals 1, square root, square root, so b equals 1. So that's how you would find that if you didn't recognize that it was a special triangle. Does that make sense? Questions on that part? Okay, because that's just building the triangle. Now, we need to go, okay, they want cotangent. What is cotangent? Adjacent over opposite. Yeah, AO. So I know that cotangent theta is equal to A over O. So I look for my A, that's square root of 3. And I look for my O, and that's 1. So, therefore, cotangent theta equals square root 3. Is that simple? Okay. Now, I'm going to keep this up because this and 25 are very, very, very similar. The reason they're similar, and I didn't do this on purpose, it just happened that way. But the reason they're similar is because 30, 60, 90... And 45, 45 are the one things we're going to be using to solve these problems where they say, you do it exactly. Whenever you see the word exact, that means you don't get to use your calculator. That means you have to use square roots, right? Pi, all that stuff, okay? So you don't get to use your calculator. You need to use square roots and pi. So to add to this cheat sheet, right? What do you want to add to it? You kind of need your special triangles, right? Because this I pulled out of my head, or maybe somewhere else, right? But I don't want to have to pull it out of somewhere else. I want to be able to see it on my cheat sheet. So I'm going to put those special triangles on my cheat sheet. And those special triangles are... 
60, 30, okay, and that's x, x square root 3, and 2x, okay. Now in al in uh, geometry, I've been, I've been teaching it as alpha, because a lot of these problems deal, they, their problems deal with x and y, but because yours deal with theta, because you guys are getting to be big boys and girls, uh, they, they use uh, the Greek letters, right? We don't have to worry about the X coming up as much. Okay? So, X works fine. And then, the other triangle is the half of square triangle, okay? Which is X and X, because that's the same size, right? And it's a right triangle. And then the diagonal of that would be x squared plus x squared, right? Would be 2x squared, right? And then square rooted, oh, x square root 2. So that's where that whole square root x square root 2 comes from, okay? a squared plus b squared, x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. Then we square root it. What's x squared square rooted? x. What's 2 square rooted? Square root 2. So that's where this side comes from. Alright? So, I need to know what cosecant is. What is cosecant? Oh, so cosecant. Oh? Uh -huh. Hypotenuse over opposite, okay? Alright, so. I need to know what triangle we're using. The other thing I need to know is when I plug this into my calculator, what's going to happen? Okay? Now, this is a negative 120, but all I care about is where it is on the graph. Where is it on the graph? Okay? Oh, I wish I had my red. Do you have a red back there? Can you toss me one? <laughs> My bad. Someday I'll be good. Alright. So, when I look at this triangle, I know that this is 120, which makes, this is negative 90, right? So that means this has to be 30, correct? So that means this angle, and the reference angle, and this is what I was talking to you about when the reference angle becomes really important. So what's 30 from 90? 60. Okay, so this is a, what we call a 30, 60, 90. Does that sound familiar? 30, 60, 90 triangle, right? And so, green. And so, with reference to the sixty, with so if I rewrote that triangle over here, right? Boom, boom. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Boom. Go a little longer, okay? And then when I use black. With reference to that triangle, and this is the hypotenuse, right? Then the hypotenuse is 2x, right? And the small side is just x, so the green side's x. The long side is x square root 3, correct? 